Welcome to another weekly vlog, a few days of my life. For some weird reason, Nicole and I have already run out of food and it is only Wednesday, so we're gonna pop to Lidl and get some fruit and veg. But Nicole does have an exam today. Uh, it comes out 11, but she's feeling pretty chill. Unfortunately, the only coupon that I haven't used is one for their fish and I don't need any fish, so shame. I just need to get changed and I will take you around Lidl with us. It's honestly the highlight of our week. <laughs> So I've put on a little bit of makeup because I'm off to go and meet Amar and Poppy and Janica this time. Janica and I actually got Amar a birthday gift for his birthday in March and we haven't been able to give it to him yet. But we got him this ring which has all of our initials inside it. I think it might be a little bit big. <laughs> I brought my coat because I thought it was going to be torrentially raining today, but it turns out it's blue skies. <laughs> I've just returned from Lewisham. I thought I'd give you a quick update on what just happened. So I'm gonna be working with Vita Student over the next coming months and they are opening a new student accommodation in London. So I thought I'd go down, meet the team. So they gave me a little sneak peek behind the scenes of what the flats are gonna look like come September. And in every room is a double bed or bigger. Bedside plugs so you can charge your phone at night. A big TV. I've not even had a TV my entire uni experience. They've got a fake plant, so you don't have to worry about killing it. The lights underneath. Yeah, that's when you know you're in a nice place. They have accommodation across the country, so up north in Leeds and Manchester. Their facilities are amazing. They've got gyms, they have cinema rooms. I got to see one of the communal space living rooms, which was really nice, very big, very open. They're telling me about all of the competitions that they got running. So one of them currently is two Apple watches. So if you're interested, head over to their Instagram to find out more. So they have these weekly food events and one of them was with a Pokeball company. So they had Pokeballs at this event. It was really nice. I took one home for Nicole as well so she can have it after her exam. It seems to be going pretty well so that's a lovely sign. The first poke bowl I ever had was last year during exam season. I thought I'd treat myself to an Uber Eats like delivery so I didn't have to cook for myself. Look, ever since then it's always reminded me of exam season. I feel so bad for Nicole because she's also got another exam tomorrow. It's just coming up to eight and I don't think she's finished just yet. <laughs> We're heading out for a late night evening walk because Nicole submitted her exam and also I haven't seen her all day. <laughs> So I started this morning with a little bit of yoga with Adrian. I'm working my way through her 30 day challenge again. I was doing it this time last year and I like the one that she did five or six years ago. The other newer ones are a little bit harder, a bit more complicated. My favorite position is the Shavasana that you do at the end, which is basically just lying on your back still. I'm also noticing my flexibility coming back a little bit, which is quite nice. Yesterday I did no revision for my exam next week. So today I'm gonna be doing a couple of hours of reading. I also wanna edit this video that I've been working on for a while. So if I can get that up. My toothbrush also broke and I've only had it for a year and I love it so much. So I'm gonna see if I can contact the seller on Amazon and try and get that fixed. So I have spent my entire morning in bed. I was editing my video. I think I finished it now. I'm just gonna export it from Final Cut Pro. Then I airdrop it to my phone and I color grade it on Visco, which takes hours. But hopefully it should be ready to go up tomorrow because I've already done the thumbnail. So I'm gonna go and reward myself with some lunch because it is almost three o'clock. I kept on seeing clips of people making these pesto eggs. I've only got red pesto at the moment, so I'm gonna try and make red pesto with some grilled halloumi in a gluten-free burger bun, which was reduced of course. <sighs>
Do you want to know what I've been doing since lunchtime? Absolutely nothing. I was going to head out for a walk, but it is raining and it's really gross outside. And Nicole's also asked that after her exam, we go for a walk again like yesterday, because that was really nice. So instead of doing the company law revision, I thought, you know, tidy space, tidy mind, a bit of procrastination, tidying up this a little before. <laughs> While I was cleaning up around my kumquat tree, a kumquat fell off, so I'm going to eat it. The skin of kumquats is the sweet part, and then the insides are the sharp bit. I'm not sure if this was totally right. So while I was cleaning, I had my phone processing on ViscoCam, and it's finished, and I'm now uploading and scheduling the video for tomorrow. I just received an email from a company I applied to for a summer internship, and I'm through to the final round. I have the assessment centre on the 24th, 25th, and 27th, which is perfect because my exam's on the 28th. I'm now going to have to prepare for this as well as my exam, so that's good. It will, it will make me really focus. <laughs> Getting a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna go make my roasted vegetable couscous, what's new? I'm gonna roast up my sweet potato, my pepper, with all of the spices that I normally use. I think this recipe I spoke about in my what I eat in a week video, so I'll link that if you wanna watch it. But I also picked up these m and fish cakes, Thai fish cakes, and they are so good. They basically have whole prawns in them, and they're a little bit spicy, that's why I like to have mine with cream cheese on the side. But I make this in a big batch, so I'll probably be having this for lunch or dinner for the next two or three days. I also added in some hummus as well, but one of you guys suggested that I use vegetable stock as a way to get in one or five a day. Mm. Very good idea. <laughs> yeah, but well, they're currently the park's actually empty. It's because it's about to start raining um, and it is also night time. It was a very late night to walk. It was kind of a little bit scary. Oh, no! <laughs> I've got my sports gear on. I'm actually going to head to Regent's Park to do some physio. I'm currently working on some interval training, but the thing is I, I am not the most photogenic when I run, so you'll be lucky if you get a clip of that. But I've just got to do some stretches as well, and then I'll come back, do my yoga with Adrian, and then get changed and get ready for the day. So it's just gone half ten, which means my video's been out for about half an hour. So I'm going to go and reply to the comments on there. I have my counselling session at 11. I had my first session February of last year and that was a consultation to see what kind of counselling I needed. I then met with one lady a month or so later but we didn't really vibe and it kind of that was it um, and then I got a new counsellor with Kings at the start of this year and she's really really good if you're at uni definitely make the most of it I think I might even ask my counsellor if I can still continue to speak to her after I leave Kings if that's possible what one of my friends told me to do is before each session to write down all of the things that I want to mention because I often have this thing that <laughs> I just say yeah everything's good and then I have things on my mind but I can't say it so writing it down and then I tell her look this is on my list and then we work through them so that I I don't leave the session feeling like I didn't say anything that I wanted to say. I have them every three weeks and I'd say the last one was a bit of a breakthrough uh, counselling session and the one before that was really good as well but I've also realised that not every session has to be a, a breakthrough session for it to be good. If I look like I've been crying in about an hour yeah uh, <laughs> that's a good sign. I didn't cry which was also good. Um, but we booked in a slot for two weeks time which will be my last session at King's. If you are at King's and I think any university there is at the bottom of the form you can have a little tick box if, if your worries or your issues relate to your race or your culture or your heritage I tick that box. As someone who's half Asian I think that's what makes this counsellor different to the previous two that I had because you don't have to explain little cultural things or microaggression they kind of understand this counsellor i have is she's just such a good listener i don't know how she does it i think if i was to be speaking right now it's like she's got the auto captions that you can get on an instagram story you know she hears everything and knows all the words that i say and she'll link them all together and be like oh you used this word earlier to describe that and that kind of links i would love to have that skill that she has but i know that she is 
pretty much her professional listener but i would say keep persevering until you find someone that you really do click with because what are the chances that you're going to click with the first or the second person i remember the second person that i spoke to she barely gave me 15 minutes to chat and she was 10 minutes late to the meeting didn't even want to look at like she was just not into into my problems and that's that's fine hurt a bit but it was fine then i found someone who really does uh care really does listen but something i've started doing over the past three sessions is just writing down the points so that i can remember it reflect on it more and try and any implement any advice i've run out of halloumi so it'll be avocado with tomatoes and pesto egg again on one of the gluten-free little buns oh <laughs> That was a good yolk. It's a bit risky to eat something like this in a white shirt, but um, this is my pajama t-shirt. I made myself an afternoon berry matcha to get me through the reading. I'm only on lecture three out of 10, but we are making our way through. So if you've watched any of my internship videos or my career advice video, I mentioned SEA London. I basically found this internship via them, told them that I've got to the final round of the interview and they've put me in touch with someone who works at the company. He just said if, if I wanted to have a call this evening and he can walk me through the video process, then he's, he's, he's happy to do that, which is brilliant. So I might take off my pyjama top um, for the call and um, I'll try and look nice and professional, but that is so helpful. Ah, uh, hi, it's Mei Ying. <laughs> Thank you so much for the call. Oh, that was amazing. He basically helped explain so many things within the company and he made the company sound so nice. So I really hope that the assessment centre goes well next week. Guys, I'm halfway through an exam, but I just got the call and I got the internship. I am gonna be starting in three, just under three weeks time. I will also maybe see if I can vlog when the internship does start. It's gonna be virtual for the first eight weeks. And then the final two weeks, I'm going hopefully up to Edinburgh and I can see my colleagues in person and I can see the office. I'm so, so glad that I applied for this role. I honestly thought that like, I, I wasn't gonna get it. Yay! I just had a lovely call with my family. Let me see if I can turn the phone. I'll just put it back. Let's see the duck. Oh, that looks amazing. Hi, Dad. I am going to go and make myself some dinner now. I have my huge couscous. When it comes to the couscous, the key is to add in fresh spinach because if you pre-cook this and you have it two or three days later the spinach is always a little bit gross so add it in fresh it takes two minutes i'm sorry i wish i had better presentation for this again <laughs> but it is so good it's a big hefty portion and it keeps me nice and full i just called rebecca and we did a little birthday opening we have a tradition to do birthday gifts 10 days before our birthdays that's my youtube logo it's just little, little origami cranes. They're beautiful. And they're like covered with a sealant and I make sure they're with sterling silver. I don't usually buy you jewellery because I know it's a risky thing. I don't want to get you anything too heavy. Like, they're I know not heavy at all. They're not heav